everyone, it's Rose and I am here with another unboxing from the November 11th sale on AliExpress. I went a little bit crazy. I bought way more diamond paintings than I should have, but what the heck, life is short, right? You only live once. So I am going to unbox the third of the diamond paintings that is in this bag. Uh, and I will take that out. I'll just quickly show you the bag. Uh, it is the black plastic wrapping around the tubular bubble wrap. There were four diamond paintings in here. Each one was packaged like this. So you've got the drills individually uh, packaged in uh, resealable baggies, well labeled. You've got the identification number for the diamond painting on each label. You've got the kit and you've got the diamond painting, which is uh, rolled, uh, sealed in cellophane. And uh, there's a big fat foam core in the center. So all to, like this is super rigid. It would be very hard to bend this. I'm trying. Uh, just one diamond painting by itself, super rigid, hard to bend. Uh, with all of the diamond paintings in here and the uh, drills around them, that provides really great um, integrity and support to the diamond paintings. So this thing, no damage whatsoever during shipping. I mean, an elephant could have sat on this. Oh, I'm not going to show you that one yet. Um, an elephant could have sat on this thing and it wouldn't have done any, any damage. Okay. So let's take a look. So we've got um, a little piece of tape here, which I'll just cut off. And pull, okay, and it does rip. If you like to keep your cellophane bags, uh, it might rip your cellophane bag. It did rip the bag on the drill kit. That does not concern me because my drill kits for now are going in here. This is my bag for drill kits for the 1111 sale. And um, when it's filled up, what I'm going to do is just unbag all of the different pieces of all the drill kits, and I will be putting them in uh, separate containers. I keep my drill pens in one, and my multi-placers in another, and the drill trays in another, and so on and so forth. So, um, so I've got lots and lots of uh, storage. Um, solutions for my kits so that they don't take up more room than necessary. Okay. So let's just get rid of that. And then we find another piece of cello tape here, scotch tape, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's, um, it does leave a bit of a residue on the canvas, but it's not a lot of residue. Like, I mean, if you're really fussed about that, take a little tiny piece of, uh, a tiny bit of baby powder or cornstarch and dab it on the sticky part and then you won't have any more stick on that part. Okay, uh, so this is 50 by 50, the item number D0042. And I call this, I call this the dragonfly mandala. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Dark colors in the background, but the mandala itself is just those super rich, rich, rich colors. Uh, this is going to be stunning when it's finished uh, in a 50 by 50 size. And um, so I am eager to take a look at this. Now I suspect that these diamond paintings have been in stock at the Mia Odu store for some time. I mean they're packaged around the foam roller and then there's uh, cellophane wrapped and all that stuff. So that um, gives the the canvas, um, like the, the canvas rolls tightly and so it just takes a little while to relax the canvas. It's not going to be a problem though. So I'm just going to, okay, what I've been doing is laying it down and just to start the relaxation process, put something heavy like a, the drills on one end of it. 
and roll it. There we go. Stay down. And put something heavy on the other end. It is really tightly rolled. But I mean, you take a look at the canvas and it's perfect. Well, if I can unroll it, it's perfect. Ah! There we go. Okay. That's as good as I can do right now. Um, it, it's, it's perfect. There's, there's absolutely no um, problem with this canvas. I am going to do something a little bit different because this one is just giving me so much trouble. I'm going to just start pulling this back. Oops, little rip. Not a big problem. As long as the rip doesn't continue. Okay, so I'll just pull this back a tiny bit, quickly lay it down, and that will give me at least one. Ah! That'll give me at least one edge that I don't need to worry about uh, curling up. Okay, that is a pain in the butt here, but that's my fault. Okay, there we go. So now I'll be able to roll this, the rest of this. As soon as I pull back the paper, it'll flatten like there was never any rolling done to it. So let me just do that. Let me first fix the bottom of this. Whoops, oh my goodness. All right, no harm done. I don't keep these papers when I'm finished with a diamond painting, so it's no big deal if there's a little bit of a rip in the paper. is that it makes the paper harder to pull back without ripping. I'm going about this a little bit too fast. I should let it un, un, I should let it relax a little bit longer. Um, so it's my own fault that this is happening. I'm not too fussed about it. Nothing like long term there's not going to be any ill effects to this. Okay, there we go. There we go. All good. All good. See that? As soon as you pull the paper back, it pretty much lies as flat as you would like it to lie. I'm not going to pull it any further back than that. There we have it. Let's see if you can see all of it. Yeah, you can see it pretty well. So I think this is going to be just beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to show you the legend and the drill area. First, I'm going to count the number of uh, colors. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 colors. Let's take a look and see how clear the legend is. Now this one is different from the one that I just opened for the green tree number two because green tree number two was also, is this round or square? This is square. Okay, so green tree number one, or green tree number two, rather, uh, also from Mia Odu. It was a little different because the um, symbols appeared on a white background, and then the color of the drill was around the the circle. Um, this here, because they're square drills, you actually see the color of the drill, and the uh, symbol is printed on it. 
So the symbols are clear and legible. With a light pad, they'll be even more so. I would want to use a light pad for this. And then you take a look at the printing. And I don't know why they do this. I don't like seeing capital B's and A's. And I especially hate it when I see capital B's and A's and 8's. Let me see if there's an 8 in this. No, there's no 8. Um, but the capital B's and the A's, they look like they're almost the same color. So it would be very easy to mistake a B for an A or an A for a B. And you're well along in placing drills when you realize, uh-oh, those were different symbols. Especially if you have any vision acuity problems at all, uh, because those can be easily confused. Um, but apart from that, this looks fine. It looks fine. I already have drills, drill boats labeled with all of these symbols, so I don't even have to label new drill boats. Okay. And just pulling back. That's going to look nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put you back in the holder and we're going to do inventory. And since these are individually bagged, like these are specially bagged, custom bagged, if you will, um, there's no inventory sheet. So the um, so I'll be doing inventory directly onto the canvas. Okay. And while I'm covering this up, I'm going to tell you the details on this. So I ordered it, as I said, during the 1111 sale uh, from the Mia Odu store on AliExpress. It is a 50 by 50 square. The regular price for this is $17.74 Canadian. I got it uh, between store coupons and um, volume discount and so forth. Uh, and select coupons and AliExpress coupons, and so etc. I got this for thirteen dollars and forty-four cents. Hold on, this. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny little gap down the middle, which I want to close up. I think it's because of this one. So let me pull this back. Okay, the little gap is still there. It's not going to cause any problems. It's not more than a, about a half or a quarter of a drill width. So it's not going to cause any problems with, like these are just going to be stored in a folder with other canvases. So there's not going to be any dust or anything like that. Oh, all right. So let me bring this down. First, oh, first I want to measure it. It is 50 centimeters exactly, and uh, just over 50 centimeters from top to bottom. So I would call that true to, size, to advertised size. All right, let's take a look at the drills. And let's get this opened up. And I think in this case, I will put the drills back in the same bag. Ooh, there's a lot of 939s. A lot of 939s. That's a very big bag. Okay. All right. So these are all weighed, as you can see. That look at the size, the size of this bag. Woo hoo hoo! Seventy-one point one grams. That's a lot. Uh, Nine thirty-nine. That's twelve thousand two hundred and forty-two drills that I need. So they probably have about fifteen thousand drills here. Um, yeah, that's a lot. Okay. 
Uh, but I've, I've got diamond paintings that have way more of a single color, so this is no big deal. All right, 9.39. a look I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see this better and um, I have all the colors I'm not checking to see if I've got enough I I'm not going to be concerned about that if I run out of colors uh, if I run out of any color I'll get in touch with them and just let them know there weren't enough of a color uh, what I would like to do is just spend a little bit of time taking a look in detail at the drills uh, so that we can see what kind of drills we've got here. These are perfectly flat. And the sh edges are sharp, sharp, sharp. There's no melty feet. There's no little tabs on them. They're perfect. These ones here, same thing. They're perfect. more of the same. We'll take a look at some of the darker colors because sometimes we see some issues with them, but not with these 902s. Let's take a look at the 3750s. Look pretty perfect to me. Yeah, nothing wrong with those. Look at the 939s. That's a lot of 939s. It would be a horrible thing if the 939s were not good. But, like all the others we've seen, these appear perfect. Sharp, sharp, sharp edges. No little melty feet, no bits of tabs. That looks perfect. 823s. Again. They look ideal. Not going to look at them all, but we'll just take a look at a few colors here. Uh, yeah, these are good. Now, um, the Mia Odu, the squares, are, I'm told, well, they advertise as being slightly smaller than two and a half centimeters. Because a normal drill is uh, uh, not two and a half centimeters, that would be humongous, that would be an inch, uh, two and a half millimeters. And when I take a look at this, it looks like two millimeters. Um, let me get some square drills that I'm working with right now, and we'll compare. Okay. So, I've got uh, these square drills from a project that I finished just a little while ago. And these drills, they actually look the same. Do they? Let's see. Yeah, they look the same. I think they're the same. Okay. Um, somewhere I read that the Miao do uh, squares were a little bit smaller. Let me check the website. Okay, so it says that these are 2.3 cent uh, millimeters as opposed to 2.5 for um, other kits. They don't seem smaller, but if they are smaller, what that means is that you can get a smaller size diamond painting 
and it'll be less pixelated than the same small diamond, same size diamond painting with larger drills. So uh, that's one way to um, that's one way to uh, to buy a smaller size and get uh, more more definition to it. Um, I don't know. I'll let you know when I finish drilling this whether I found any difference whatsoever. Uh, but um, that's how they advertise their drills is this 2.3 millimeters instead of uh, 2.5. So that's it everybody. This is the Dragonfly Mandala. Uh, where, am I? where is my Dragonfly Mandala? Hold on. There it is. Uh, it says it's a small square. I don't know if it is or not, but it is 50 by 50. Oops. There we go. And so it's, I'll just label, yeah, I'll put this on the uh, bag. There we go. Um, and there we have it. I want to thank all of my viewers and all of my subscribers for coming and visiting with me and watching these video unboxings, uh, these unboxing videos for uh, diamond paintings. And I want to thank all of my Patreon patrons for helping to support my channel financially. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, down here, you can do that. Thanks. Thanks.